Outdoor Adventures again today. Um, today, a lot of people ask me about how to fillet um, a catfish, um, how to even scale and clean a fish. So today's segment, I'm going to be talking about the difference in fillet knives and um, showing you how to fillet a catfish and how to fillet crappie and bluegill, the smaller fish. And uh, we're just going to walk through that a little bit today. Um, out here on my deep freezer, I have uh, the uh, different fillet knives, the blades. This one is more for your, your heavy duty, like if you get a big catfish, these are more stiffer. They're not as flimsy as some of the other ones. Um, these right here uh, are more pointed. They're, they're flimsy, flimsier than that first one I showed you. But if you notice the blocks here, the ends of them are, are hooked, and some of them have a block like that there. And this one right here is uh, it's made differently. It's got the same hooks, but each knife is different. I got two different knives here. But this one is a, a rapella or rapella type blade for your uh, medium fish. This is for your pan size, bluegill, small crappie. You want to use something like that because the blades are smaller. And this is a Mr. Twister fillet um, uh, knife. Um, I don't know what you call it. this. Is the body, I guess you could call it. But this is this will only fit these three. These three right here will only fit in this type of. Uh, Electrical you go into the knife. stores and you and your blades will get dull sometimes. You can uh, get mistaken on a fillet knife. It's just like all the rest. Will or not, they're different, and you'll be disappointed if you go safe to up to Bass Pro or Cabela's and you get this particular type, thinking you can get it in this one, and it's not going to work. So you got to be careful on that when you're picking your knives. Just just get a couple and uh, like. When you first start for laying, you're going to cut up some fish because it cuts so fast and you're not used to it. You're going to have to learn how to finesse and be careful when you're for laying your fish because they can uh, cut, it'll cut through the bone of the fish real quick. And before you know it, you'll have a, a mess of cut up bone and scales and fish. And you'll be like, well, I don't want to do this, but you got to stick with it and keep on doing it until you can become a pro. Uh, to some measure. Some people can do it a lot quicker because they've been doing it for years. Uh, I'm not the best, but uh, I can eat and I don't have to worry about bones. Sometimes I miss a few and you're going to do that. But uh, you just got to keep practicing it and keep going with it. And pretty soon you'll, uh, you'll be good at it. Uh, the next segment, we're going to actually do some fish, uh, show you how to fillet them and, um, uh, I might mess up or I might get it right the first time, you know, but like I said, I'll have some meat to put in the skillet and we'll eat. So we'll uh, move over here to my cutting board, which I got tired of those little flimsy, you know, the little boards you buy in the store. But when I catch fish, I catch a lot of fish. So what I did was got a piece of uh, plywood and I might lay something on top of it, but I got a good board to where I ain't got to worry about it's too short for the fish that I got. It's too, it's too flimsy or anything like that. I put a handle on it so I can carry it from my storage area to my truck, and it'll fit all the way across my uh, tailgate when I uh, have that 10 or somebody go with me. I might have 20 catfish that I got to fillet, and um, I don't want to mess around with having a place to put them and lay them. So I made it the length of my tailgate. So all I got to do is lay that board up here on the tailgate. You know, I grab the handle, move it over here to the truck. And you see, it's the whole length of my tailgate. So I got a nice table that's right at my waist level that I can operate and do my job on uh, cleaning the fish when I get them. So we're going to be using this board today and uh, showing you how to do a little filleting.